like let's get ready with me um i know you all talked a lot of shit about that oh yeah like somebody had to make him do it listen i can assure you what's in my bag my rook or get ready with me is definitely not something that i would have done and still trying not to do but being forced to do so um yeah so today what's in my bag or aka what's in my rook for all those shit talkers so listen I know I hope you guys can hear me good because I don't have this knockoff mic that I got from wherever and I don't have my Walmart fan in the background spinning um, so you can't might not hear me uh, but just wanted to go over what's in my rook and we'll go from there so let's get started as you can see this is what I pack every day before I go to work um, before we get started official Oakley I, I'm sure we can find the official tag inside you know since we don't live in New York we live in Orlando Florida and there's not too many knockoff places that sell folkly shit but anyway so we'll go ahead and get started um, this is what's in my bag I take with me to work every day so I already wear my one phone on my duty belt I have a, my backup phone this phone is backed up for some of the officers that come to work, that their phones are broken or they need an extra phone. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into the bag. So this is a uh, showy police style helmet. Again, I said police style, but this is a showy helmet uh, modular. So it goes up and down. As you know, we wear these. Um, on that, we have our camera recording system mount. Uh, and then of course, just for music and things like that so we can listen to music while we're working and stuff. But this is our helmet. I have an extra hat just in case, especially since, you know, uh, I don't know about y'all, but those that have owned a business know that a lot of your contractors slash whatever you want to say, oh, he finally admits it, employees. Not that I have employees, I have contractors. Oh, he finally admits it. Oh, he finally admits it, employees. You know, I just have extra hats, things like that in my bag, just in case somebody forgets theirs, since it's our policy when outside, not undercover, they're required to wear a cover, for those that know. So, um, <clears throat> then I have my riding gloves. They're Oakley SI. Uh, these are my riding gloves. Um, just so we're clear, they're genuine Oakley, see? The genuine SI Oakley logo, not the the Folkley shit that you keep saying. I guess I drove to New York and bought or whatever the fuck you want to say. And then I bring in my rain gear just in case. Always have your, your rain gear. We always turn these inside out. These are expensive flower jackets. Um, it's got the tag in it too, just so we're... So we're clear, it's it's not a, a Folkly or a knockoff blower. Not not bought from some, you live in Florida, there's a lot of knockoffs out there. No, yeah, no, maybe in Miami, but not in Orlando. Um, I mean, sure, there's somebody that probably does somewhere, but I wouldn't know because I don't buy Folklies. Anyways, so, uh, rain gear, blower, um, high viz, as you all noticed. Sticking to the same idea for nighttime riding, Oakley, again, and, and you guys are gonna love this. More sunglasses, more sunglasses, not in the box on the desk. Holy shit! What will you talk about now? Because it's not on the desk in the box, but they do look the same, just a slight difference for rain or night. These are clear lenses. So that way, when you're riding at night or in the rain, you can still protect your eyes and they're clear. But yes, the, the same frame. That's great that you guys noticed that. What you didn't notice was in the box, although they're the same frames, they're different colors. 
different colors means they're different for different outfits. If you're wearing brown, you wear brown. If you're wearing black, you wear black. If you're wearing blue, you wear blue. Or if you want to really fuck everybody up, you wear a black suit with brown shoes, so you wear black, brown glasses with a black suit. It seems to piss a lot of people off. So that's that. Then it gets better. Here it comes. Another fucking pair. Another pair. These are my backup riding glasses in case. For those that ride motorcycles, you know that bugs or rocks will hit your lenses. Sometimes crack your lenses, scratch your lenses. So again, oh my God, it looks like I have another pair. Not in the box on the desk. Fuck, I don't know what you guys are going to talk about now. For those that know what SI stands for, those are SI. So, these are my backups with my rain glasses. <clears throat> then we'll go into always have our masks because of COVID. Always have an extra one. New for employees. Up contractors that show up that forgot theirs. Also inside my bag is our body cameras for our helmets. Um, these are for all our men and women on motors. Uh, only for motors. These are helmet mounted cameras. Um, all of our units wear these. As you know from edited versions of videos that have been posted of maybe me and maybe not. But only this camera or those cameras can tell the truth. Um, then I have... I, these aren't knockoffs either. I, th these were from, from Best Buy. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're Jabber. They're not Oakley. So, I mean, they're just earbuds. So that way I can use the phone if I'm not wearing my helmet. It's implied to make a phone call near a church or in a church and have all that noise. So it's better if I'm wearing my earbuds. Then, just in case, because I've been drinking 20 fucking cups of coffee all day, gotta have the gum. Then, the business side, money bag. Never take cash, only checks, contrary to what all the people want to say. So, but, uh, you know, inside that bag, we have actually three checks from yesterday. Deposit and payroll slips. Um, then we have a plethora of fuel receipts for that Uncle Sam part that y'all talk shit about that I don't do. Got the, the gas cards to go with it. These are, these are all individual gas cards issued out at the beginning of each shift. Um, we got about 30 of these business. Then, just in case you're out on the road and one of the funeral directors wants to remind their families what they're paying for, we have the brochures that we don't market. We just have them just so we can. I'm going to have to put this whole bag back together again. With the brochures, you got the business cards for the tow truck and then the business cards for motors. So I keep both of those on me. Um, keep both sets. And then, of course... The most important, I keep a Quran on my bike with me at all times. Um, one in my car, one on my motor, one in the office. As you can see, we have Quran verses in the office, um, but one Quran with me and in my rope. Never know when you're going to need some glue, especially if you put it in your hair and wash your hair, but with, with the glue. But I know this goes on surfaces. So then, of course, my wallet, driver's license and credit cards, you know, um, all of the credit cards that we keep saying don't exist. By the way, credit cards aren't considered loans. They're considered line of credits. That's why they're called credit cards. Cre follow the yellow ball. Credit cards, not loan cards. Got the Aqua Di Giglio blue and got the Polo blue out on the road. 
In fact, I've had guys behind me on a motor say, what is that smell? It smells so good while we're riding down the road. Then of course, got the Samsung backup battery, just in case, charging phones, charging equipment. Here we go, here we go, it's gonna start. And then ladies and gentlemen, for those that are watching, we have our rescue equipment in my Rook, stuff that I carry with me and other men and women that work for Metro State carry with them on their motors. We have the trauma splint, the trauma tourniquets, which is also on my belt, tourniquet. I, I don't know who said that you can't wear it like this. I don't know where that came from. I didn't know there was a SOP or a AR catalog or a book that explains where you wear your tourniquet. We got the wire splint. Then we got the space blanket in case you cold need that heat. Rescue blanket. Shears to cut seat belts. And we got pressure bandage slash compress rags. We're gonna move on from that. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Got the CPR mask on a keychain. And then inside this cute little pocket, we have another tourniquet. For those that forget theirs or for those that don't have theirs or those that have used theirs this week. Now we go to the simple boring stuff. Not that that wasn't boring already, but we have charging cables for the helmet. Keep it all in a good old bag, keep it all together. Charging cables for the cameras, the mics. Data card readers so we can pull our cameras off and give it to the law enforcement officer that's on scene to review the footage like the Winter Park Police Department did in a certain case on scene, never left the scene. We're able to take it out off the camera and put it right on their laptop so they can review the footage and then file charges on somebody else until Pennywise Villar changed the storyline then, for those, you guys are gonna love this shit. I have in the bag, this right here is the end all tell all that y'all been asking for. This is right here gonna tell you the truth about me and who I am. Are you guys ready? Spoiler alert. It's so I don't have to wear my seatbelt. So I don't have to listen to the binging every five seconds that goes down the street. And this is my backup wall. <laughs> yeah. Here it comes. And then we have a backup pepper ball weapon. So that way we can, for guys that forget their weapons, have, make sure that they have their weapon for duty. Other than that, that's pretty much it. That's a lot of shit in one bag. For those that are women that carry your purses that weigh a thousand pounds with a million things in them, y'all can say, see, I told you I had to carry this bag for all that shit. Now you see, I carry a bag for all that shit too. So, you know, at the end of the day, this is what's in my rook. Uh, <laughs> why again we're doing this? I don't know. Apparently this is a topic that people are asking about you can get a, a glance over a once over all the shit we got it's been fun i have to pack all this shit back in my bag before i go to work which is in about 15 mics oh sorry minutes you guys be safe motor one's rolling